the biggest problem is going to be this Tampa Bay offense. They can't be trusted with anything, as we've seen. We just talked about the backfield situation, where they can't decide on one guy or let us know uh, week to week. So that just becomes a headache. It leads to bench mistakes. And how are you going to support an offense that can't already support Chris Godwin and Mike Evans at the same time? When those guys have both been on the field, Godwin's been good. Evans has been absolute trash whenever Godwin has played. Maybe he catches a lucky touchdown, but the target share discrepancy is just so high. So now we're dealing with the backfield guys who are still getting targets. So let's pencil them in for like a 10 to 15% market share of targets every single week. Godwin's going to hover around 20 to 25% because that's just what Chris Godwin does every single week. Mike Evans is going to get his 10 to 15% hopefully, if you own Mike Evans. And then you have the tight ends, plus Scotty Miller, uh, who's still going to remain somewhat involved. I would assume that that's the role that Antonio Brown ends up taking, but they'll still play four wide receiver sets. So pencil him into like five to 10 every week. You got Gronk and you have Cameron Bray between them. They're probably around 10 to 15%. There's only so many targets that can go around on this team. And that's going to be the problem. Like, I, when I set the line at over under two and a half top 30 weeks, I think that Godwin is still most definitely the guy to own in Tampa Bay. So then it scraps the rest of the time. Will he have a huge game? Probably at some point. It might even be his first game back. That would be optimal if you own Antonio Brown. Just don't get sucked into thinking that's going to happen every single week. 